Hello everyone, well, welcome back to my channel. I'm exciting to announce uh, we are going to do a brand new series on how to build a P2P video conference with WebRTC. Okay, um, before I show you the demo um, about what we're going to build, uh, here are the techs we are going to use. Uh, the first one, uh, we're going to use vanilla JavaScript. And we're going to use some TypeScript for the um, for the server side. Uh, client side, we'll just use a plain um, vanilla JavaScript. And also for the styling, we're going to use ta Tailwind CSS uh, just to make the project look a little bit um, appealing. Okay, and what are we going to build uh, in the series? Okay, the first of one, first of all, uh, we going to build a WebSocket server. Uh, that deals with the WebRTC signaling uh, requirements. Okay, and number two, obviously we need a front end um, to serve um, our video rooms and stuff. Okay, and I hope you will learn um, some pretty good knowledge about WebRTC after this one. Okay, now I'm going to do a little demo about what we're going to build. Okay, so basically, uh, really simple. Uh, this whole app only has two pages. Uh, the first one um, is the login. It's not quite a login. It's basically you giving your information uh, of your name and which room you want to join. And we'll just say tests. Okay, and then the next one we just go here. All right, that's the first pair done. And let's make another pair. Okay, and this one we'll call it Batman. Batman. And we want to go in the same room, tests. And we'll go OK. Now we have it. Uh, just to show you that, it is two separate thing. Uh, and we can mute, mute this. OK, let's mute this. OK, now it's muted. OK, uh, and also you notice that we've got the name of the, the, the person as well on the displays on the bottom. And this is the mute button, obviously. And then we can turn the video camera off as well okay it's fully functional um, yeah can be can be used um, not in production obviously but you know for you to play around with this is more than you know good enough and I hope everyone can learn something and get into WebRTC because WebRTC is a really really interesting technology uh, that every developer can avoid for the next coming years uh, that's my opinion okay all right and until the next one uh we'll see you then